A social media trend that could be putting animals at risk. There are now Facebook groups dedicated to buying and selling pets. As Haley Nelson reports, there are many of those groups here in Michigan, but animal experts are warning you to think twice before buying a kitten or selling a puppy to someone you meet on social media. You'll find pets for sale all over the Internet. Groups on Facebook dedicated just to buying and selling pets are pretty popular. Whether it's kittens for free or low prices on puppies, the deals are enticing. A lot of people will use social media after a pet has a litter the owner just can't care for. It can be very convenient and it can be a great thing, but uh, when you're dealing with something like a live animal, there's just so many unknowns. And that's why animal experts want you to be cautious. Ingham County Animal Control and Shelters Director says one of the big red flags has to do with where you meet the seller. A few talk to someone and they say, okay, I'll meet you in the, uh, you know, the mall parking lot and we can make the exchange. That's a red flag. Plus, unless you visit and do your research, it's hard to know if the animal you're taking home is healthy. If they won't show you vet records or even tell you who their veterinarian is so you could talk to them, uh, those are all red flags. He says until recently, if puppy mills were selling online, sellers didn't have to be licensed under the Animal Welfare Act. That loophole was closed, but the, the practice has become very common. If you turn to the web to find homes for a litter of kittens, for example, use the same caution. You have an obligation. If you decide to post an ad on Facebook, remember the social media site says in its help section that it isn't responsible for things sold in groups. So before you fall in love with a furry face online, it pays to do your homework. Haley Nelson, Fox 47 News. Shelters will tell you there is another option. You can surrender animals at AM County Animal Shelter. There is a rehoming fee, though. You can also check area shelters for pets or a breed-specific rescue group.